Hi, I'm Stacy Harris. Today we're going to be making some venison Moroccan shepherd's pie. The first thing that you need to do, I, I've got some sweet potatoes boiling. Go ahead and boil these for about 10 minutes. Then we're going to be using the hind quarter of your deer or venison, elk, moose, whatever you've got. And I like it to be whole and cut it up myself because you can you do so many things with it. The, what you'll need to do is cut it into about one inch cubes and then you're going to need to dry it off. Make sure that your meat is dry because if it is not dry, you will not get a nice brown browning to it. You're going to mix cumin and salt in with your deer meat. Mix it up really well. Moroccans like their food with a little spice and a little sweetness, just like some men like their women. All right. You don't want to crowd the pan, but if your pan's large enough, it'd probably be all right for me to put all that in there. I've got a pretty big pan here. So you want to use um, the largest skillet that you have, but a lot of liquid is going to be going into this later, so you might you want to have it with a little bit of the lip to it. Okay? All right. While that is going, I am going to drain my sweet potatoes that have been cooking. Sweet potatoes came right out of our garden. We're gonna go ahead and make these sweet potatoes while that's browning. I'm gonna take it over to my food processor. Okay. All right, get it going just a little bit. Keep an eye on your meat. And then I have got some cinnamon and salt here that I'm gonna put in and an egg. Instead of you, for this shepherd's pie, we're gonna be using the sweet potatoes. Take it over here for later. Stir it up a little bit. Remove your meat from the pan. This is a pretty heavy pan. All right. And now you're going to uh, saute some onions. Now that our onions are sauteed, we're going to put our uh, garlic in. Let that go for about 30 seconds. Now the tomato paste. Okay. After you get that good and mixed in, you're gonna deglaze the pan with a little beef broth. That's gonna get all those yummy brown bits off the bottom that are so delicious. Then we're going to get a little bit of water. Mix that in. Okay. Then we're going to add our meat back to the mixture. And that meat looks so delicious. And it, it tenders. It, it gets more and more tender as you cook it. We're going to get our sweet and spicy. And it's got raisins, cinnamon, honey, red pepper flakes, um, cumin, and turmeric. Gonna add that to the mixture. Okay. I wanna get all of that honey that I can get out of that because that is really gonna make this dish good. Okay, look at how good that looks. All now right. that this is simmered for 30 minutes, we're gonna put our peas in this. These are just some um, frozen peas, but fresh peas are better. Frozen still have the vitamin content that Fresh day. Okay, we're gonna serve that up. All right, leave a little bit of room there for our mixture of sweet potatoes that we pureed. It's like a pie going right on top of your food. It is going to be so good. That sauce is absolutely insane. Okay. All right. All right. I'll do the rest in a few minutes. 
And I'm gonna put it in a 350 degree oven, just like this, and let it go for about 25 minutes. It's been 25 minutes, and I think that our shepherd's pie is ready to come out of the oven. Oh man, that looks really good. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of nutmeg to the top to give it a little bit more spice. Okay, there you have it. Let's take a look and see what it looks like inside. Oh yeah, look at that bite. I don't think I could take quite that big a bite. And it looks pretty hot. But anyway, here's your shepherd's pie.